Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and here's another video on how to draw in 3D and run in 3D. Uh, while this one's running, I ran this one, and I'm actually gonna try something else when I do run this one, but I thought I'd show you how to draw that. It's really pretty easy. Let's take the rectangle tool, just draw a rectangle, and with our ratio locked up here, I know it's gonna be about 0.5 of an inch, so it's more than that. So let's go one, and when you get only one node in this area, you know you're good. Then we're gonna go up to effects and contour. We're gonna to contour to the inside four steps at 0 0.05, let's try. Nope, too, too little. So let's go 0 0.01, well, that's even smaller. So 0 0.1 is what I should have put. And that's kind of what we want. We want these four steps. And so there's actually one, two, three, five, five lines. We're gonna select it all and we're gonna go up to object and we're gonna break the contour apart, but we still have to select it all and go to group, uh, object, group and ungroup. And we're gonna take away that middle line. Now here's where the kind of, I think the fun begins. We're gonna take that and control D and make a duplicate of it and rotate it 90 degrees on its axis. Then you just kind of use your imagination with the virtual segment delete key and just start deleting these downward lines. Try not, whoop, I went too far. Try not to get into those other lines. I'll probably have to zoom in here. Let me go ahead and zoom in. So we're gonna get rid of these lines on both sides. And it's gonna make the thing kind of look like it's going underneath. So if we did these lines, we need to do these lines on this one and my hand's a little more steady going from left to right. So on this one, we need to do the opposite. So we need to do these lines again. And what this is doing, let me talk, quit talking for a second. So now we need to do the opposite here and go here. And that part is done. Now we're, our, our object is almost four inches, so we're gonna change our nudge factor to just five. We're gonna take our Smart Fill tool and we're gonna fill in that, that, and that, 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 and that. We're filling in where the Smart Fill tool will not fill in. Now we're gonna take all this and we're gonna put no fill in an outline, and that already looks pretty cool. So we're gonna change, we wanna change this to like 0.25 of an inch. So anything more than a hairline. As you can see, our contour will not work. So let's see if it'll work if we group it together. And as soon as we do that, it comes up. So now we're gonna contour to the inside 0.001, but also I've made a little mistake. I've kind of learned over the last couple of days, we wanna make this line not as dark, like 40% black, okay? Now we're gonna to contour to almost no black, 0 0.001, and contour to the inside. Wow, almost done. Now what I'm gonna do a little bit different with this other one, I am going to, well, here's, here's a neat little trick that everybody should know. If you click on your item and then double click on the rectangle, well, you need to hold down the shift. I put a rectangle around the box. If you will do that, hold down the shift and, and double click, you get a rectangle. Now, if you keep holding down the shift key, it will grow from the outward in or out on all, all four sides. And then you're gonna kinda of wanna put it where you wanna put it in the laser bed. And then what we're gonna do that I'm gonna do a little bit different and I hope to make another video tomorrow, and this takes a little time, we're gonna fill it in with black and no outline. So this takes just a few seconds because it's having to fill all that in with black. But then you can go there and fill all this in with black, fill all that in with black, fill all that in with black, and fill all that in with black. And what I'm gonna do different tomorrow is I'm gonna 
nudge all this black up. And I'll tell you why. Now I need to fill it all in. You know what? That's a good thought. We can control D and make a duplicate of that and put it right back. So you don't have to fill it all in again. Now here's one of the important keys. Select it all, go to bitmap and convert it to a bitmap, convert it to eight, eight uh, grayscale. I don't know how that affects it, but it really, see how it kind of fuzzies it up? That is what's so cool about it. So now what I can do tomorrow, and I've already got this one set up, I'm gonna run this in 3D mode, and I'm gonna run it like at 25 power, and or 100 power, 25 speed, and then I'm gonna run it at 100 power at 50 speed. So that's gonna make this shape that's what I did on this exact one. But then what I thought I'd try is I'm gonna get that guy out of the way and I'm gonna nudge this in. And I'm, well, I've changed my nudge factor, but that you understand that, well, let's just back up here. And if you ever get to that point where you've done something like that, just put that one on top of that one. And now your nudge is the same. So we're gonna, I would engrave that, just like I said, and then put it out of the way and then bring in this one. And then you, then you can engrave just the black and it will not engrave any more your 3D because even though it's just slightly touching this 3D effect, it is touching it every time you engrave. So by doing this way, this is gonna get a lot deeper, I'm hoping, without affecting the rings. So. Hopefully, if it works out well, I'll post another video tomorrow. But that's a neat way to draw in 3D. Um, it looks pretty cool. And stay tuned for more. I love drawing in 3D. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.